So we're on the tail end of a 14,000 mile trip across the country, and people have been starting to ask us, so what have you learned along the way? And to be quite honest with you, we're not really quite sure. So instead of standing here telling you what we think the past 14,000 miles have meant, we're just gonna tell you what happened. So here we go, 14,000 miles in about eight, well, I guess seven and a half minutes. So one, one year ago today, we were sitting in our class in grad school at this little college up the road six hours that way. And we were thinking about what we could possibly work on for a year-long project. It could be a project of our choosing. And like so many of our speakers today and so many of you guys in the audience, we knew that our purpose lies somewhere in the general direction of education or hanging out with kids, as we like to call it. Um, but none of us had any ex expertise in education. We're designers, engineers, artists. And so we thought, well, what's, what, what's, what's, what are we good at? We're good at tinkering and making stuff and building stuff. So we had all these ideas. We had post-its and post-its, hundreds of different ideas that we brainstormed. This is maybe 1% uh, of those. And according to our professors, the stupidest idea that we came up with, and obviously the one that we knew we had to pursue, <laughs> was we're going to get this truck. We're going to get this old delivery truck. We're not sure why, but it, it, it popped into our head, so, so we, we knew we were going to get this truck, and we're going to load it up with all sorts of things that we can bring to kids into schools and, and teach them something about creativity, teach them something about prototyping, about design. And so we had no idea how to do that, so the trendy thing to do was to run a Kickstarter campaign, raise some funding, so we did that, and we got a truck. So we celebrated, we had a, we had a little cake in the shape of a truck that we celebrated <laughs> with. We still, so, so by the end of that day, we still had this. So we're like, yes, we got a truck. <laughs> oh, we have a truck. <laughs> I'll fast forward six months later of horrible, horribly failed prototypes to what the truck looks like today. <laughs> and there's still some kinks to work out. Um, but we started taking this truck and we started driving to local schools in the Bay Area and teaching kids these hands-on workshops. We brought arts and craft supplies, we brought all sorts of different things. And we thought, we thought we were having fun and we thought, well, maybe the kids are also having a little bit of fun too, but then, we started getting feedback like this. And we thought, huh, wow, how, what, how'd that happen? And this wasn't an isolated instance either, which is what scared us. Like, what is it that these kids aren't getting in school that, that we who know nothing about education can, <laughs> why, why? But this told us that we had to keep going. So what is it that we've been doing that have gotten those postcards? And you know, like nine-year-olds, nine they're really easy audiences. I don't know if some of you may have found out, but we've definitely found that out. So what are we doing with them that is eliciting these postcards? Well, the first step of all of our workshops is uh, the brainstorming process. So there are two different lists that they make. <laughs> one, of them, <laughs> one of them is animals that live in land, and one of them is animals that live in the water. So we have them make those lists, and they smash them together to create hybrid animals. We have some really cute things like the koala wall or the giraffe fish. Lots of really cute ones. Um, and then we have them, we just dump a bunch of stuff in front of them on a table, and we say, okay, like you've, you've come up with this creature, you've sketched it, like make it. So the next step is prototyping. And by prototyping, we're, we're trying to impart the idea that you know, it may look really overwhelming at first, but start, try, start trying things out, start putting things together, and start seeing what happens. So these are a couple pictures of what happens when you prototype things. And at the end of the day, you come up <laughs> with something like this. So I think, I may be wrong, but I think this was some sort of combination of a parrot and a dolphin. I'm not quite sure. That, that sounds more or less right. But, you know, and then the last step of process is uh, storytelling. So we asked them, so uh, what does this parrot fin, what does it eat? You know, where does it live? Does it, does it eat this other animal of your neighbors that, that your neighbor created? And um, is it a scary animal? Is it a friendly animal? Um, so that's the last step of process, storytelling. Telling telling about what the project that they created, how it fits into the rest of the world. And it fitting into the rest of the world is kind of a, a point that we like to emphasize as much as, as we can. There's another workshop we do where we actually have kids engaged specifically with the idea of, well, what can you do to make the world a better place? And that's a huge problem, right? But to start chipping away at it, again, we have them brainstorm, they make lists. So, so what can you do to make the world a better place? You can, you know, stop pull outing. Hey, hey, don't be mean, okay? Don't, that's on the list. Don't, let's not make fun of this kid. <laughs> Anyway, so they, they take this idea and, and they, they brainstorm ways in which they can convince other people to do this one step to make the world a better place. So we have them make stamps. They make stamps uh, on our laser cutter and they make handles out of clay and, and they go around stamping things. And one of the first things we have them stamp 
is this letter that they write. They, they write, a, write, a, uh, write a letter to the president or a teacher or parent talking about why they chose the cause that they chose about and what change they want to see in the world. And fun things happen. In Nashville, we were running this workshop, and a gentleman in a really nice suit came to the workshop. Every now and again, we get visitors dropping by. And he said, hi, my name is Matt. I am here from the mayor's office. And by the way, kids, all the letters that you write to the mayor, I will hand deliver to the mayor of Nashville later this afternoon. So chop, chop. <laughs> kids were like, OK. <laughs> Um, so, so, so in this way, we're really trying to get kids to, to think that by the act of making a little thing, by the act of thinking a little bit, they can actually take real steps to make a difference in the world. And you know, that's really been one of the, real, the coolest things about this road trip is that you know, we feel a lot like, we felt a lot like these students that we work with um, at the beginning of this trip were asked, OK, you have a year, make some sort of impact in the world. And you know, <laughs> we didn't really know what to do. Like, who are, like, I don't know, like, what, what can we do that could possibly cause impact in the world? Um, so we decided, well, you know, we can, we can run a workshop. We can run a workshop in Bay Area, and um, we can run another workshop. And, you know, maybe we'll go to the next state over and run a workshop there. And the coolest thing about that is 15,000 miles later, or however many miles we've driven, and about 60 schools and 2,000 students later, we're still running workshops. We're running workshops today. We're running workshops tomorrow. We're going to run workshops for the next couple of weeks. And you know, it's, it's been this ridiculously amazing adventure. And, and where haven't we been? We've been to zoos. We haven't gotten to, to run any workshops with the animals there, so that was a little upsetting. But, um, <laughs> we took the truck on a ferry once that got some looks. Uh, but the captain of the, of the ferry insisted on driving the truck off the ferry. Um, we've been to places where there's no gas for 100 miles around, which becomes a problem when you're driving a box. <laughs> um, we've been... Let me tell you something about going to New York City during the week of the UN General Assembly. <laughs> Don't go to New York City during the week of the New York General Assembly. Um, but, but we've also been on fun places like national television. Um, yeah. And met really cool people. And so this is one of my favorite stories. I'll do it really quickly. But I'm, I'm kind of getting a little hungry. I don't know if you guys are getting hungry, but I didn't have breakfast. So this is when uh, we were driving through Ellendale, Washington. And uh, we're, we went to Dairy Queen. We were getting our brownie blizzard. And uh, this is Lauren Johnson. And she gave us a blizzard. She was about to close the window. And she was like, wait a minute. OK, so what is it? Like, tell me about this. And uh, thank goodness there's no traffic behind us because we spent about 15 minutes talking to her about what this was. And it just goes to show you, like, you know, you get to meet people in the strangest places all throughout when you're driving a truck that looks ridiculous like this all around the country. So we've got about a week left. We're, we're almost there. Um, and as we continue driving, continue on our journey, we keep feeling like we're those kids that still have no idea what we're doing. So we're going to keep chipping away, trying to figure out what the future of the project might look like. And I think it'll be fun. <laughs> Thank you.